For more than two millennia, herbalists and scholars of herbal medicine have adhered to the doctrine of signatures, which states that various aspects of plants, be it their form, shape, appearance, smell, taste, and even habitat that they grow in, can be clues to tell a person what systems of the body or organs of the body one might treat using this plant. And no plant is quite as interesting to me in that respect as this plant right above me. This is Solomon's seal. Solomon's seal is a common name which is given to a group of plants within the genus Polygonatum. Let's take a look at the defining characteristics of this plant. Solomon's seal grows from one central stalk. It grows in fertile, loamy soil on shady hillsides and in river bottoms here in western North Carolina. It has an alternating leaf pattern, these blade-like leaves emerging from the stem and they all have these longitudinal striations which can be seen here. They're like ribs going with the flow of the leaf lengthwise. They develop these clusters of little flowers. These have not opened yet, but when they do, they will be clusters of white bell-shaped flowers, which will eventually turn into small berries in the same cluster pattern. The root of this plant is what I find most interesting in relation to the doctrine of signatures, and I am in a preserve area, so I'm not going to dig any, but I will try to put up a photograph so that you can see what I mean, because this plant is used to treat issues arising and uh, in relation to connective tissue, joints, tendons, ligaments, and cartilaginous structures. And the root of this plant very much resembles a spinal column, including all of the various nerves emerging from it. It's very interesting. So I will try to include a uh, photograph of that for you guys. The best use of this plant is to make a topical salve out of it. And at some point, maybe I will make a video about that. I collect this usually after the frost in the fall so that the energy has gone back into the root that I'm gonna be collecting. Let's go over the characteristics of false Solomon seal right now. Here we have false Solomon seal, which is in the genus Myanthemum. And another common name for this is treacleberry. But it also has alternating leaf patterns, and it also has longitudinal striations. The leaves look a good bit similar. Um, there are some differences. The stem itself makes a little bend at each leaf, and so it has sort of a zigzag pattern as it grows. And rather than having flowers that emerge and hang from the bottom, false Solomon seal makes this spray of flowers at the end of it. Here is another one that is getting closer to being in full bloom. This will also form berries, but they are a white berry that is globe shaped and the Solomon seal berries are elongate, almost egg shaped ovals and they tend to be more blue or purplish. Thanks for checking out another video. If you enjoy my content, be sure to hit that like, subscribe and notification bell and uh, follow along as I continue my season. Thanks so much for watching.